welcome to Touchline in the week when two old foes meet at Old Trafford. We'll have more on the build-up to St Helens versus Leeds Rhinos in a moment. But first it would appear that the engaged Man of Steel is an Englishman after all. Castleford's Rangi Chase picked up the honour hours after pledging his allegiance and future to Steve McNamara's band of brothers. Despite being born and raised in New Zealand, he now qualifies for England on residency grounds. This is my home, you know, um, this is who I want to play for. Um, I don't care what anyone else says, I'm just wor worried about my, you know, as long as I fit in the group and the teammates are okay with it. Quite simply, you know, when a player of visibility who qualifies within the rules approaches you about committing to England, you, you have a, a duty, duty of care to explore that and find out whether uh, those reasons are the right reasons. And without doubt, 100% without doubt, Rangi is uh, going to be fully committed to England. Now, Saturday night, we'll see a showdown at Old Trafford that will see the Super League title handed out to surprise finalists Lee Rhinos or St Helens, who, having seen off Wigan twice in the playoffs, make their sixth consecutive final. And it's no concern to them that they've lost their last four. Yeah, I mean, I can understand, obviously, people asking the question about previous grand finals. You know, obviously, we've been defeated in them, and, and that is part of our history. But, uh, and on heart, I can honestly tell you that we, we haven't spoken about 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 those defeats all year. Royce hasn't mentioned them. Yeah, it's just about doing well this year. And, you know, as a group, we're focusing on focusing on that. And uh, to be honest, they haven't given the last few years too much consideration. You know, we've got quality players in our team. I'm always confident in the ability of the players in the squad. And you know, this year with the, the amount of youngsters that have come in as well, and, and on the enthusiasm that they bring, it's uh, it has been a bit of a, a fresh start, if you like, a bit of a you know fresh ideas, fresh enthusiasm in the squad this year. And, you know, and I think that's obviously uh, it's paid off a little bit for us, and you know, hopefully we can take that into this weekend. We're, we're happy, uh, obviously, to, to produce two good performances against Wigan. Uh, we've probably consistently been the best side over the last two years, and I Warrington have put some big scores on this year. But you'd, you know, I still think that Wigan consistently produced the highest level of performance. So to beat them twice is a good achievement, but it, it counts for nothing if we, if we can't back that with a good performance this week. Now, what odds would you have got on Leeds Rhinos making both major finals this year? Well, a dramatic victory over league leaders and favourites Warrington was enough to give Brian McDermott's side a shot at the big prize. It's not about first past the post, although that does get recognised and it should be recognised. But the big recognition in our competition is, uh, is the grand final and grand final winners. So we'd all like to, certainly I would have liked us uh, at least to get here with a little bit more consistency and further up the table. But it was always about this time of the year for us. Max a great coach, you know, we're, 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 you know as a team we're, we've always had you know, belief you know, in his coaching ability and you know, it's proven, you know, he's made it, you know, got the cup final and now in another final, so you know, he's a great coach and it's just pleasing, you know, we can you know, um, you know, finish the season off well. Leeds make a return to Old Trafford after missing out on last year's final, which was of course won by Wigan. So last word this week goes to the man who lifted the trophy on the three previous occasions. Uh, to walk out here when it's dark and the fireworks are going off, um, it's, uh, there's nothing like it. It's just memories that you'll keep forever. But when you come out of that tunnel and there's all that noise and you know the the ground split and red and white and blue and amber, it's uh, I know it's like coming out into a gladiatorial arena. It's just it's it's hard to explain, but it's. Uh, the feeling you get when you walk out of that tunnel, there's nothing like it, it's, it's, uh, it's brilliant. Stirring stuff. Made the best team win. Bye for now.